Divine neutrality is engaging with detached compassion. It is a pure divine state of the solar cosmic Christ, and it's something that a lot of us have to work on in order to stay in the heart center and stay in that neutrality. Because in the past, as we have transmuted all these lower level constructs, we've been very triggered by the external. Now that we're getting into our higher self embodiment, we begin to learn the difference between judgment and discernment in order to get into divine neutrality. Now earlier I discussed triality, in the highest interests of all concerned, not in the highest interests of all concerned, and none of my business. All of this is reflecting divine neutrality. I'll tell you the difference. Judgment is deciding, choosing that old paradigm way of beingness. Is it good or bad? Is it positive or negative? Is it right or is it wrong? And that's all based on a dualistic system of judging whether things are or are not good, bad, right, wrong, all of that. All of those decisions, choosing so that there was no middle ground. We're constantly reinforcing, taking sides. The same thing happens with sports and competition. All of that stuff, ego-based, choose. We have to win, good, bad, right, wrong, positive, negative, all of that. As that goes away, we learn discernment, discernment. Does this apply to my journey? Sometimes when people first awaken or they engage with an ascension process, they start to get triggered by the external and embodying or getting wrapped up and entangled with trying to decide what is right, what is wrong, what was the secret, what is the truth, instead of detaching from that altogether and going from a point of higher discernment. Higher discernment, does it apply to my journey at all? Does it matter at all? And I'll give you a hint. Anything that occurred in the past, probably not applicable to what it is you want to engage with at this time. All of the plat none of that matters any longer. The longer we entangle ourselves with what happened, the longer we delay the process of forgiveness and dissolvement and getting into neutrality, the longer our ascension process takes. So as this is an acceleration of your ascension process, we begin to engage with divine discernment. Does it apply to me? Is it in the highest interest of my journey? Start with a personal. Yes or no? Is it applicable to what I want to create? That's where the only levels of judgment come in, is in your divine discernment. You're not saying something is bad, you're just not willing to engage with it any longer. You're not saying something is good, you're just willing to engage with things that are applicable to your journey, taking it in, being very creative, directing the energy of your creatorship, your divine self-empowerment, in order to get into a state of non-judgment. So much of the external is just not applicable to our journey or just plain does not matter any longer. And instead of engaging with the external as something that is bad, something that is trying to influence you, a lot of people get into that when they first awaken because they feel everything is a program and I'm being manipulated, they're afraid of everything. We are transmuting all of the fears that are associated with judgment in this way. Getting into a state of detached compassion, we care, but we don't carry. Of course we care. Of course there is divine love. Of course there is divine light. That is the embodiment, the pure conduit of pure love light service is getting into that state. But we have to be very careful until we get in to complete alignment with the higher self of where we are directing our energy. Getting into that state of divine neutrality is one of the strongest keys to aligning and bringing forth the solar cosmic Christ. Does it matter what the external is showing me? Does it matter what the external is up to? Of course there are going to be activities and beautiful, beautiful embodiments of true acts of service. We want to make sure that we're directing our energy to be in alignment with the Christed state. That doesn't mean that the external 
is a free-for-all and that we're not engaging with it at all. We're engaging with it in a different way. So train yourself. Train yourself to notice, am I using judgment right now or am I using discernment? And a lot of your energy flows, those of you who are in service, who are healers or way showers, be sure that you are being very precise in where you put your energy. You're not preaching or trying to convert people, that's religion. You know, if you're in the role of teacher, make sure that you are not invading other people's energy fields, putting out an energetic attack by giving unsolicited advice. A lot of people, as they awaken, they learn things, and everybody has to learn what I learned. You know, that's a pure energetic attack. Be in the state of divine neutrality introduce all of all of your new ideas to your your own personal tribe in a very neutral way in my experience this is what i am learning in my consciousness in the consciousness that i'm embracing this is what i am experiencing right now don't come off as if what you have seen a lot of us the veils come down and you're seeing things and everything is the truth and the Syrians told me this and the Pleiadians told me that my higher self said this a lot of that does not have to be shared at all and certainly if you're engaging with forums or groups you don't want to impose what you have seen or your belief systems upon others that is control and manipulation we're getting away from that getting into divine neutrality if people ask, they are giving permission. Permission can also be expressed in introducing all that you have to share with a, a qualifier for that experience. All, my, all of my teachings, all of my articles and my videos and everything come with that prerequisite. Blessings, beloved light tribe. I am speaking to those who want to engage with a higher level of light. All of my material is introduced in that way. In my experience, this is what I have to share. In my act of service, in my creation, this is what I have to share. This is what I'm receiving. It doesn't mean that anybody has to engage with it, has to do it. Nobody has to engage with anything that we come forward with in our discovery because it is a co-creation. We're all taking pieces of what resonates, discarding what it does not throughout this process. That is your discernment. That gets you into not judgment. It doesn't matter what other people have different belief systems. It does not matter. I honor your journey. I honor whatever it is you're experiencing. Thank you, dear brother. Thank you, dear sister. Your opinion has value to your journey. Thank you. It doesn't mean that I agree with it. It doesn't mean that it has anything to do with me. A lot of this has nothing to do with us. That's the neutrality. Okay, I see it from the higher self. Step out, step away from the journey. Step out of the body vehicle, take a look. What's going on? Okay, from this level of neutrality, bless and thank all of it. Okay, now I'm going to come back in and use my discernment. And that's how we get into that state of detached compassion. Pure love, loving everything that presents, not embodying it, not letting it trigger, not letting it influence the true self. Some of it will. Some of it, when you find resonance, beautiful. Resonate with it, link with it, engage with it, get entangled with divine love that feels good. But don't turn it into a belief system. Your belief systems change. The truth is pliable throughout this until you resonate with your pure true self and pure source light consciousness. Divine neutrality releases us from all that was and engages all that is, blesses it, and empowers it to be in a state of pure true divine source light intelligence.